And so despite the manual actually showing that this takes a USB Wi-Fi, as you can see here, I have the one I always use and it's not lighting up. And furthermore, there are no network settings anywhere. Uh, the normal network settings, they're not, they're not here. There's, there's nowhere to go in and adjust network. So even if, um, even if it lit up, I, there's, what could I do with it? So yeah, that's pretty disappointing, guys. Another reason to pass on this. Sean Hannity here, and tonight as we check in on the polls to see what the final results are, we're going to go live to the street. No, wait, I'm not Sean Hannity or a political commentator. Hey, deadheads, welcome back to the channel. Or welcome to the channel for the first time, new deadheads. Today, we're taking a look at, ta-da, yet more potential e-waste or a diamond in the rough. I don't know. You'll have to stay tuned and check it out. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Retro Game with Dead Fred. Anyways, let's hop in. All right, so let's take a look at the box. And some of these boxes are starting to look very familiar. And this one, my biggest dream is to stay young forever. We've seen that before. So we do have the XGB36, the Game Master. This has a nice, nice texture to it. Feels nice, nice picture. So looks nice over here on the side we do have some of the stats here along with our colors so it comes in the white the purple and the black uh, right there game master xgb36 we did get the purple indigo blue whatever you want to call it um colorway so again this is uh mu elec 4.7 it's got one gig of ddr ram 3326A plus. We don't know what the A plus means. Probably nothing. I, I don't know. We'll see. And the Mali G31 and the battery is 35 milliamp hours. And hey man, who wants to play some Dr. Ramcast? Einstein, you? You want to play some Dr. Dr. Ramcast? Dr. Einstein? No, I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. So, anyways, let's um get this thing open to see what's inside big old white box and here we go we got our unit and then inside here we've got some plastic seems to be a pretty nice box looks nice USB-C cable we got a white a white tip USB A to C maybe someday these things will start coming out um, supporting USB-C to C Handheld console manual XGB36. So key parameters. Pretty nice manual here, actually. So let's see here. See, this says just RK3326. None of that A plus business. So hopefully this is just a regular 3326 and we can get some good custom firmware going on this guy. There's our overview of the controls. Game data folder and card to store some simulator settings. That's interesting. Drastic, Hatari, Open Bore, Open Tyrian, PPSP. So here's some shortcut um, emulator shortcut keys. Select an X. Switch to the shortcut menu of RA. By the way, that was not working. Uh, I saw on Nick's video. Go check out OTG Nick's um, channel and go check out his review of this. He wasn't able to get in there. Hopefully we're able to solve it. Let's see here. Themes, Moopin, Arcade and Vertical Shooting, Rotation, GBA, Peer-to-Peer, -peer, lar Large Fruit Grains. Lar large Fruit Grains. I don't know. It's a pretty cool manual. I mean, it goes really into depth here. So, oh, some Chinese Golden Finger. Oh, boy, I love me some Chinese Golden Finger. So I don't, I don't know what all this is about. This is a massive uh, connection to Wi-Fi. It does not come with Wi-Fi. We knew that. So, so it looks like it supports that. So... Yeah, so quite a manual here. Gotta gotta say, kind of that's nice. Um, for that, let's get this out of here, out of the way, and let's take a look at our handheld. All 
Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video here, but I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about something. It's 2024. Heck, it's almost 2025. And Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons are still too expensive. Well, my friend, thankfully, I have a solution for you. We're just a week out from the 011 sale from AliExpress, and they were kind enough to send us some of these Joy-Cons right here from Villacon. These are amazing. They're really nice Joy-Cons. They work just as good as the original, and they cost about a fifth of the fraction of the price. And with the sale coming from the 1111 sale, you can save even more. So guys, don't spend that money on Nintendo's overpriced Joy-Cons. Get yourself a third-party one like these. They look cool. They work great. And again, we want to thank our friends at AliExpress for sponsoring this video and sending us this product for a review. And we'll see you back to the video. All right, so we got this guy out of here, and this color is nice. Okay, this is a this is a nice color. Um, first thing, fill in the hand. Um, oh, let's look at that while I'm noticing that. Consolo Retro. It's in Spanish, I guess. I don't know. Consolo Retro. So that's different. It's just, just a little sticker on there, so I don't know if there's anything behind that, hiding like that. Um, but this feels very, very nice. The plastic feels not, not bad. It feels, feels appropriate for the price range this is going for. Let's try these buttons here. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, but they're moving. Look at that. They're connected. I hate one that's like that, but you can see. So they, they do feel nice. I wish they weren't connected like that. I don't, I don't like when they do that, but. They feel nice. They look nice. Good travel distance. Buttons feel okay. There's a speaker here. Let's see how loud this is. Yep, that's pretty loud. Function button loud and clicky. This D-pad. Um, D-pad's not bad. It's better than that one yesterday. I really hated the D-pad on the R39S. This is, this is better. It doesn't pivot greatly. It's not a fantastic D-pad, but it's it's serviceable. It's serviceable. And the stick, stick's nice. I like the little texture on the stick there. Stick feels good. Yeah, stick feels really good. Clicky. So buttons are nice. I don't like they're connected. These are loud. D-pad is average. And the stick is pretty nice. Screen looks nice here. Let's look on the side here. So we have our power and reset, and we have TF2 game, and interesting, there's a card in there, so I thought I only got one card. Here's our DC and OTG, so if you're going to use Wi-Fi and your headphone jack. And here's your TF, what? Here's your TFOS, and there's no card in there. Uh, that's interesting. Volume up and down, and nothing up here. Uh, let's try these. These are quite, quite fat, quite thick. Pretty loud, thick. They feel nice. They don't they don't stick out too much. And you got a battery door, so battery accessible. So not bad, not bad at all. Uh, of course, this this guy is 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 really tricking and mimicking um, a look that's it's fooled quite a few people in some pictures I've, I've posted. But let's take a look and compare it to what it what it's mocking. Well, I won't say mocking. What it's imitating. Voila. And there we have it. Yes, the Ambernick RG40XXV, the vertical. So here we have them side by side, four inches, three and a half inches. So this is really taking an inspiration from this. It, it looks very, very similar, but you can tell the color difference is, is more purplish. This is definitely more blue. Although, actually, actually the camera is tricking. It looks, yeah, it's more purplish over here. This is more of an indigo purplish and this is the blue. So definitely different in color there. Um, of course, um, it has the one stick like this. And yeah, the, the D-pad is just so much better over here. Um, I like the stick better, actually, believe it or not. The stick's a little bit smaller uh, and sits a little bit lower, but it, it, it just feels really good. And Ambernick buttons are always really great, so those buttons are better there. But just to give you an idea of... Uh, what what this looks like, you can see there a little bit difference in size between the two. Um, and of course, this has big old fat fatties and this has more thin 
that stick out a little further. So anyways, um, this thing feels pretty decent in the hand and definitely um, not disappointed completely yet, but we'll see. We'll keep going. We'll see if this is going to uh, be a, a hidden gem or just another, another, you know, another, another. So let's get this thing booted up. All right, so let's get this thing going. So I don't see any light. Well, yeah, there we go. Oh, look, lights up. That's nice. Huh, I wasn't expecting that on this, this lower end. So uh, the, the stick is a highlight here. I mean, if you hate RGB, it's not, but I kind of like RGB, and that's that's not bad. I am you elect. We knew that was coming, so no surprise there. And okay, here we go. Our very familiar looking um, screen. This is the 3326, or maybe this A variant. Um, so let's see. They've, they've got N64. We know N64 does not play very well on that. Certain games play better than others. But let's go in and let's just see what this thing is going to do. See how it's running on the N64. Let's see. Let's, let's do some Wave Race again. If they have it. I don't know if they have Wave Race. Yep, there's some Wave Race. So nice, nice scraped. Don't know how to adjust that. Uh, XGB 36, okay. So yeah, it's stuttering as expected. This plays halfway good on a 3566, but on a 33, 26, it's uh, not the best. Select your watercraft, please. Welcome to Dolphin Park. Sounds okay. Not bad. Okay, not not terrible. It's playing. Follow the dolphin. All right, let's get into the menu here. Let's see here. So I have actually fixed this when I first got this, and you can go check out Nick's video at OG Tech, Nick. Um, the function button is not, not working. It's still not working. I think this is, there's something wrong with this, but I was able to go in and reset the settings on RetroArch and get it set back to being able to get into the menu. So we can get into the menu here, but originally as this shipped, there was no way to get into the menu. But we do have that working now, and this looks like this is using the parallel N64. So... Let's take a look at a couple of other games here, and then we'll talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. All right, so let's try some Rayman on the DS. Let's see how this is going. So obviously on a three and a half inch screen, this is not ideal playing like that. Um, let's see if it's gonna, so our options are there. Let's see if we can get into a single screen. So we're gonna go change the screen here. Voila. So pretty much I don't, try to even play with any sort of split screen on a, a handheld of this size. Just go into that and use uh, the button back here, the R2, to switch between the screens once you change it in the, the menu. So 
So it seems to be running at what I would expect for a 3326. Sounds pretty good. Again, we have so many choices and the, and the biggest question is whether this stick is beneficial um, or preferable to an R36S and having two sticks. You know, some people hate having the double stick, so having a single stick could be really uh, a benefit here. Um, we've looked at the Cyclops where the stick was up top, the M18. We liked it a lot. The stick down on bottom, I think maybe the stick down bottom doesn't make as much sense as the stick up top. I don't know, um, but so far this is, is, you know, in line with the M18, M19, sorry, so many M's. Alright, so guys, you should know since this only has the, the one stick and they have set it up to do the, um, the stylus, um, it's not working to control him. So if you like using analog to control him, I don't know if there's a way to go in and mess with drastic to change it. Um, but it looks like definitely, um, this is not ideal for DS. So I wouldn't use this for DS or you're going to have to do some fiddling with it. I know some of you guys are looking for, um, a way to just play. And so unfortunately that is not going to be it. So let's try some dreamcast here. And talk about the handheld so let's start with as always what did I like so I like the stick I think the stick is a highlight I like the contour of it I like the texture of it I like the size of it that it sticks out I like the RGB light it's tasteful it's not overdone um, the stick is a highlight um, it's kind of a shame that this doesn't have dual sticks but I know a lot of people don't prefer sticks at all or i don't know what the market is for one stick you know but um i do like the stick i think it's a pretty much a highlight of this i think that the here we go yeah it's dragon because this is a, a 3326 so remember it's not going to play as good let me turn this down Um, I do like the overall color and texture of it. I like the larger buttons that don't stick out. Now this is a stuttering mess. So I wouldn't look to play Dreamcast or really Nintendo DS on this. N64 maybe on some games, but this is really um, probably one of the lower bin 3326s, and it may be why. It has that A on it. It may be a rebadged bend version. So keep that in mind. Um, it's all going to come down to price on this. I do like the look of this. I think that um, this is a good look. I don't mind the one stick at this level, but it needs to have at least a 3566, I think, to have the one stick. Um, I don't know that you're going to be doing any moonlight on this, but I guess you could be doing streaming or Portmaster. as I, I suffer through this. But yeah, this, this is just how it came. I didn't change any settings, so you can see. Um, let's see here. It is running on Flycast 2.2, so I'm not gonna go in and really try to mess with it. Well, now let's talk about the things I didn't like and why I don't recommend this. Um, I don't recommend this because the software is half-baked. It's not great. Um, it came, it shipped with a lot of problems. We couldn't get into RetroArch immediately. Um, it's not, you know, it's questionable as to whether this CPU is an actual full 3326 based on how this is performing. Um, like that. The D-pad is average at best. It's not, it's not great. And there's just nothing here that's setting this thing apart. There's nothing to really make it stand out or feel special. That's enough of that can't really listen to that stuttering mess anymore um, to really set it apart uh, you know I always looking for these hidden gems to find them but this is just not one of them I recommend the M19 um, with the stick up top I, I think even though that has not the software support we want 
and is, you know, still hasn't after all this time really been open up to custom firmware, even though this probably is going to have custom firmware. I, I think if I'm going to go for a three and a half inch with one stick, I think the M19, uh, I'd pick over this. Uh, I just can't recommend this. It's just not there. Um, now, if you get this thing at a super duper price, I don't hate it. Um, you know, it's playable. And keep in mind that I'm somebody that plays so many of these that, you know, it's easy to pick apart um, the thing. I'm trying to put myself in the mindset of that I've never owned one of these. I've never touched any of these. And I haven't picked up a game in 20 years. And it's like a kid again. I could see how somebody would go, man, that's awesome. So, you know, keep it in perspective for what it is. I don't like this thing that the, the, the card is over here where it says it's the game. There's no card in the OS. That's obviously labeled wrong. Um, don't trust the labels. There's no built-in Wi-Fi. Um, it would have been nice if it had built-in Wi-Fi. Um, you know, if you're going to have some of these other components. The only redeeming quality of this is it looks nice. The stick is nice. And um, that's, that's about it, Deadheads. It's, it's not really on my radar. And so if you pick it up and enjoy it and you disagree with me, leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked about it. I'd like to see that and figure it out. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the look at this. Um, go check out Nick's review of this as well and see what he thought about it. But um, just, yeah, it's not there. Um, anyways, guys, we'll see you next time. Remember to hug your loved ones and love your hugged ones because tomorrow's never promised. Go out and vote, guys. It's important. Go out and vote. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.